Hi friends, hope you are doing fine. So today I'm going to talk about how long is the time period you should give for a postdoc. So essentially I think the best time period is between one to three years. So let's look at these two ends of the spectrum. So one year ensures that you do make some contribution to the field if you are at a certain university. You have a year in your CV in terms of the postdoc. You also have probably time to do some small amount of work which could result in one paper. And also the person with whom you are working is relatively satisfied that you have done some work during that time period and you have earned your pay as a postdoc for one year. Now, if you are going to stay on longer, which I would of course suggest you do, I think the best time period would be three years. Because three years essentially means that you start a problem and you also finish a problem. Because remember that whatever work takes you about five years or six years in a PhD should take you two to three years in a postdoc. Because now you don't have the courses, you don't have the comprehensive examination, you don't have to write a thesis and you don't have to do all these small things which you had to do around the university as a PhD student. So you are relatively free at this point to do only research and therefore in three years you should accomplish essentially one more PhD on the problem you have been given. And three years would also make sure that you can produce three to four papers and also your supervisor would be very satisfied by the work you have done. Your resume would have a reasonable timeline in terms of postdoc experience and you could then move on somewhere else. Now, I have of course seen there are some people who continue postdoc to up to six years or even more. Now, I would say six years is probably okay in certain cases and the cases I have seen where people go on for six years, typically they are in two parts. One part is I have seen people who wanted to get a visa. For example, they were in the US and their green card was in the process. And so they continued this postdoc till about six years, so they got the green card. So this was more due to the circumstances imposed on them by the processes of getting the visa required to get a permanent job and so on. So again, this is one case in which you can extend your postdoc for a longer time, especially if you are a foreign PhD in a different country. Now the second case is where I've seen a person essentially does a postdoc for three years and then wants to do a different postdoc for one more period of three years. And this I would say is justifiable only in the case where you are going to a very top university, maybe working with a very top person in the field and you really feel this is necessary for you in terms of your knowledge growth because there has to be a trade-off here between whether this tint is going to be useful for you or you could directly go and join some different position whether it be in the university system or in some research lab or in the corporate world. So again I would say that beyond three years you need to think a lot before you are continuing on a postdoc. The only two possible cases I can think where it would be a good idea is if you are continuing to go for your green card or whatever visa thing you are working on or the second case would be maybe you got a postdoc stint with a Nobel Prize winner and so you are going to spend some time with him and hopefully that would help you to get a better position sometime down the road. So again this was my take on how long should you postdoc. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned to my channel and subscribe if you have not and spread it around your network.